<laughs> Are you ready, Brady? Beth and Dale Smith love making music together. He started learning how to flat pick, and I eventually got the bass. And so we've been doing a lot of festivals and um, fiddlers' conventions. Then came along the pandemic, ending all the public music performances. Well, when the COVID started, and I wasn't working, I kind of had a need for something to occupy my time. That came thanks to something she and Dale have plenty of on their Stokes County property. Rocks. The couple regularly go out on their four-wheeler in search of something most people would just take for granted. This is Flat Schultz Creek. This is where I get most of my rocks. But they're not looking for just any old rock. It's kind of like looking for shells at the beach or shark, shark, uh, shark teeth. Teeth. Yeah, yeah. That's a great rock. That's a great rock. The secret to finding a good rock it's a good husband. <laughs> but what really makes a rock a good rock is that it's suitable for Beth to paint. The beginning was about 20 plus years ago. I bought a book in a craft store on how to paint rocks. The first thing she painted was this ladybug. It was ugly. <laughs> so I put the book down and I never picked it up again. That was until the pandemic hit. And she decided to give it a try again and made a discovery. They say to find what you love to do and you never work a day in your life. Yeah. It's true with the rock painting. I just love it. You know what? I will sit down to paint, and before you know it, it's supper time. And it just feels like I've been there for maybe an hour. And with the endless supply of rocks, the possibilities of what she can paint are also endless. It just kind of morphed into this crazy thing, and I had all these rocks. <laughs> yeah. These days, Beth and Dale have a lot to keep them busy. Not only do they play music together, they rock. In Stokes County, looking for Roy's folks, Chad Tucker, Fox 8 News.